This is the future of not just the University of Delaware, but higher education. When I describe what's different in Ice Lab, I often ask folks to remember their freshman chemistry experience. And what they'll remember is sitting in an auditorium and the professor is lecturing. And the following week, you would go to your laboratory and make an experimental study of something. This experiment shows that steel can be melted even underwater. That might have had something to do with the, the lecture before or nothing to do with the lecture before. And what we're trying to do is integrate the laboratory experience with the classroom experience as fully as we can. What it tries to address is the collaborative nature of learning. As students learn as much from one another working in teams as they do from the, the faculty members that are in the classroom. I would like to be a professor and I think seeing how this environment works will set an example for how I one day hope to teach my classes. The flexibility is really wonderful and I think it allows me as an instructor to develop much better rapport with students. Within the first week, students just descended on the place, they've taken over the place. This is really the hub of learning for the sciences and technology at the University of Delaware. It's really that integration across disciplines and our engineers, for example, have an appreciation and understanding of the liberal arts and humanities as well because I think those skill sets are, are critically important to, for America to keep its innovation edge. A lot of the global challenges that we're facing uh, require a very interdisciplinary approach. I think the days when we would just sort of be in our silos in terms of conducting our research or training our students. Uh, this kind of facility is exactly the way we need to be moving. Just as the ICE Lab impacts education at the university, it's going to impact research in the same way. The laboratories here are not designed by discipline, but by interdisciplinary topics. So there are going to be a variety of disciplines attacking problems that we're facing as a society from all different perspectives. People recognize that this is a game changer in the way scientists and engineers are going to be trained for the 21st century. This is the first new science building built on campus in over 20 years. And it's a model of what the future of education looks like, collaborative, interdisciplinary, interactive. The architectural design of ICE promotes this open inquiry environment where discussion merged with data collection. It's an incredible space and I think it's going to give the students ways just to learn more effectively and efficiently and most importantly collaboratively. Prospective students and their parents will come on the campus tour, walk by one of these uh, laboratory teaching spaces and be surprised to learn that those students they seem to be having fun, everybody's engaged and they're learning science. There's nothing more remarkable than leaving the class at 9 p.m and seeing these rooms filled with students talking about science, not specifically biology or chemistry, but their coursework that is integrated. And so to me, that's quite revolutionary. They actually are very unhappy that they cannot be here on Sunday evening at 11 o'clock because these are really inclusive and very inviting spaces. It's going to be a signature experience for first-year students. We're going to get a lot of national and international attention for the way we're teaching science now and it wouldn't have been possible without the generous donations that we've received. We're grateful for all the people that have put their hands in to make this happen. And I think it's a tremendous investment in students, in education, and in research. What would be the best words to express the gratitude? But really, very big, big, big thank you. For all the donors that have contributed to this building, uh, the students and the faculty and staff at the university really appreciate that strong commitment. Not only did we fix some problems in terms of laboratory space for our students, but we're creating this new future for the University of Delaware that you believed in enough to support this facility, and we just want to say thanks.